The reaction when people hear that we have two trans kids is pretty shock and awe. Before I had transitioned, I had like a piece missing to me and it just didn't feel right. And I was nervous to tell my parents. When I told them, they said that they accepted me. I was like super happy. We're not gonna allow our kids to feel shame or fear. They deserve to feel love. Anyone can be whoever they want and it doesn't matter what your opinion is. Being trans, to describe it, it would mean you were born the gender that you don't feel like in your heart. Good morning. So are you excited for the last week of school? Mm hmm Are you nervous about middle school? Yeah. I always have been a boy, but I started to realize it in first grade when I told my mom I wanted to have my hair short and that I wanted to look less girly. So James approached us in a casual way by dropping hints from the time he was seven until he was eight. He would say things like, I'm half boy, half girl, half gorilla. And I would think you're not good like ma at math like your mom. I remember a time that he said to me, sometimes I feel like I'm a boy. And at that point I was, you know, trying to be a supportive parent and said, yeah, I've got feminine feelings and I, I get that. And that's okay to have feelings that are masculine and feelings that are feminine. I'm done. Okay. But the truth of the matter is I was missing these clues, these breadcrumbs that were being dropped around him kind of testing the water. Before I had transitioned, I had like a piece missing to me and it just didn't feel right. And I was nervous to tell my parents. Which one are you coloring? This one. When I told them and they said that they accepted me, I was like super happy because I know a lot of trans kids don't have that and that's sad. When James was eight years old, he asked to transition, which meant social transition, which is not permanent. He got um, to use he as and him for pronouns. He then, this past year, changed his name legally and his gender markers legally. He just now, in a month ago, started hormone blockers. It's an implant. It is to prevent his puberty. It will prevent a menstruation cycle and breast development, which would cause a lot of havoc mentally and physically for him if he were to start developing those second sex characteristics. And he is counting down the days until he can start testosterone, which would be the first time something permanent would be happening. Because at that point, it would affect fertility. If you use a blocker and go on to testosterone, your eggs would never mature. Mm -hmm. You would have to go through female puberty for that, which is something you could do. I could, but I don't want to. Why? Because it's uncomfortable What's to uncomfortable? think of that. I'm a guy, and it's like if any other guy thought about being a woman, that's uncomfortable. And you've always said you wanted to be a parent. Yeah. So what are you going to do about that if you can't have your own child? Adopting like, is a great idea to me. I transitioned first, so I think that that helped Olivia see that it was okay to be trans. That's amazing. Wow. Is it bigger than yesterday's or is that? I think it's actually smaller. That made it easier for her to come out and tell my parents because she knew that they would be accepting. Olivia said she was transgender from the age of four until five, and we allowed her to wear whatever she wanted, but she didn't socially transition until she was five years old. It was less shocking because we had just had a child transition and we had just educated ourselves about gender. A lot of people think that it must be a copycat situation where the younger one's just mimicking the older one, thinking that the older one's getting some kind of praise or feedback and they want the same attention. But this is who she is, and this is where we are. I reacted to Olivia transitioning like most older siblings would, which is kind of like, but really? 
even though I'm trans. <laughs> I got a little defensive because I thought it was my thing, but now I saw and still see that Olivia is a girl and that she always will be. He helped me by making me confident because you didn't know no, I was. You're like my first supporter, so it made me very confident that I would have many more. Our relationship is good. It's like most siblings. We fight, but it's nothing ever important, I guess. Luckily with Olivia, she's so young, she's only seven. The first thing would be a hormone blocker, and that's not until she would hit stage two of puberty. As of right now, we just follow her lead. All right, let's head out. And we parent, for those of you who think that we're just following our children around <laughs> and doing nothing. Yeah, we do. <laughs> for anyone who who says that we're pushing an agenda, I would ask them to look at their own children. If you can't find a way to love your child and your faith or your fears are more important than you're caring for your own child, then don't look at me, look at yourself. We're going about this because we're listening to our children and because we're doing a lot of research and research has proven that we're doing the right thing the scary statistics of what happens when a parent is not supportive of their transgender child. The high amount of suicide that occurs scared me so much that I knew that no matter what fear or hesitation we had or concern, that the only thing our children could and should and would feel from us would be love and acceptance. There was a grieving process for me when both of my children transitioned. It wasn't because I didn't love my child anymore. It had nothing to do with that. It had to do with me navigating a world that I just knew nothing about. It was very scary, and as time has gone on, I've learned to trust that there is community, there is support, and this is real. There is a concern from a lot of people that this could be a phase, and this ultimately may not be who they are, but knowing that they're going to always have the experience of love and acceptance from us is key. We will love and accept them if they come to us tomorrow and say that they've changed their mind. We will love and accept them if they don't. Being trans is just a little part of me. We're not different. We shouldn't be treated better or worse. Where I am now, I have all the support I need.